Welcome to Paraben's E3 report training video. Today I will be showing you how to create many different style reports using our reporting tool within E3. Let's begin. Go ahead and open up Paraben's E3. Once E3 is completely loaded, go ahead and close out of this window as I am going to just open a case. So I go to case, open case, and I am going to open one of my previous cases that I have bookmarks already in. Within this case, I actually have two different acquisitions loaded. One is a bootloader acquisition and another is Google Takeout. One thing to mention prior to generating a report is that you should probably sort your data because a report for sorted data is generated much more quickly than a report for unsorted data. It is strongly recommended that you sort your data prior to generating a report. And to do this, all you have to do is click each acquisition that you would like sorted, go to Content Analysis, Sort Data. This will bring you to the wizard. Um, keep in mind, the more checkboxes that you mark, the longer it will take to sort the data. There's a bunch of options in there. All you have to do is click Finish for that to start. And down here, you can see that it is currently running. Once that's completed, the state will turn to completed. Then you're ready to start generating your report. To generate a report, make sure that you are on the Analysis tab, same tab as where you found the sorted data, and then you're going to go over and generate a report. The Reports Wizard will appear, and there's many different options within E3 to produce a fantastic report. A report is a summary of the currently opened case whose contents have been controlled by the examiner and can be printed, email, etc. E3 allows the examiner to create 10 types of reports. Each type has its own content, structure of the selected information, and file format. To select the report type, select the radio button with the report name. The Include Parsed Embedded Data checkbox allows you to add parsed information from embedded evidence to the report. For example, mail storage databases stored in NTFS file system evidence, etc. Please note that this option is available only if the embedded evidence has already been detected. For instance, the file or folder has been opened and viewed, or at least the folder containing this file has been opened. The HTML investigative report this report includes any information defined by the examiner, evidence of different types, bookmarks, and supplementary files. Data is displayed in an HTML format without hyperlinks. This report is really great if you need to print something. On the left-hand pane of the report wizard, you will have general options. General options allows you to select which report you would like. If you select investigator information, this step will allow you to define the investigator information to be added to the report. Enter the required investigator information or edit an existing one. Also, there's drop-down boxes that you can choose from as well. Select Save Changes to the Case checkbox to save the information. Otherwise, all changes will be discarded after the report cre creation. Next will be Bookmarks. This step allows the examiner to define which bookmarks will be added to the report and define their options. Bookmarks to include the following options that are available are to include only bookmarks as checked as to include two reports, include all bookmarks, don't include any bookmarks. Each bookmark has the following properties, name, path, source, description, attached data, bookmark created, bookmark last modified, and attached data information. Select the properties you want to include in the report, otherwise clear them. By default, only four 
bookmark properties are included in the report. To select all properties, check Select All or uncheck to clear them. Insert thumbnail for graphics bookmark. If this is selected, the thumbnails will be added to the bookmark pointing to graphic files. Export all bookmarked files and folders to the external folder and add links to the report. If this option is checked, all files and folders, including email messages, databases, etc., to which bookmarks point will be exported, and each bookmark will include a hyperlink to the exported file. The mail storage evidence will include any of your email databases. For instance, in this acquisition, I also have a Google Takeout email database. This is where I would want to include all of my email um, strings, bookmarks, correspondence, important information. Again, you have the same options as previous to include in all reports, to dump the entire case into, into this report, um, and don't include any mail storage evidence. There's also different properties to include. Check the boxes that you feel are appropriate. And then you have include graphics from the attachments. They will be added in the report as thumbnails or to export the messages to an external folder and add the links. File system types. This will allow the examiner to select which type uh, file system evidence and Xbox disk images to add to the report and what they will look like. Again, you still have your three common options to include, to select them and not select them. Um, and then you can add or export each different type of file, including game console files. The two radio option buttons below show data by file types only for sorted data. If this option is selected, information about the file system evidence in the report will be sorted by file types as it is displayed in the sorted files pane, which is over here. The show data in tree view structure, which is case explorer, case content, if this is selected, information about the file system evidence will be displayed with the preservation of the tree view hierarchy, which means it will go from disk to folders, etc. Beneath the file systems types is file properties. This allows you to define exactly what will be exported and what the properties will be included. If by chance this is grayed out, it's because above you chose do not include file system evidence. Each file in the file system evidence has properties that are displayed in the properties pane. Each one of these has different types of properties. Check the ones that you feel are important to your case. Additionally, there's a use filters. If you check that and click select. This will allow you to search for different operators using and, or, and not, or not, any date type, last created, last modified, etc., and date and timestamps as well to add to your report. There are a few additional options for the file properties. Include EXIF information. If this option is selected, additional properties of the image made by digital cameras or scanners will be added to the description of the graphics file. Include graphics as a thumbnail is pretty self-explanatory. Thumbnails will be added to the description of the graphics file. Include NTF, STFS attributes. If this is selected, the attributes of the parsed NTFS slash STFS files will be added as part of the report. The mobile evidence option. This allows the examiner to define what mobile data 
and iTunes backup evidence will be added to the report and to define its options. Again, you have the standard three options to include only check data into the report, to include the entire uh, acquisition into the report, or don't include any mobile data. The iTunes backup evidence. This is currently grayed out for me because I do not have an iTunes acquisition currently. But if I did, I could also include only check data to include in reports, include the entire acquisition, or not to include any iTunes backup evidence. Sorted files. This will allow you to include sorted files. The sorted files we're talking about is, I'll show you right now, I'm going to cancel out of that, and this is going to be all of my sorted files. When I initially ran that content analysis and sorted files, it's going to show you how many documents, um, emails, spreadsheet, chat databases, um, images that I have. So if I wanted to include one of those, I would just check it and then that would help me include that into my report. If the export checked files is checked, what this means is it gives you the option to check export the checked sorted files. Selected files will be exported to the report destination folder with a subfolder of the exported name and the case file. Custom report view. This will allow you to define a custom report header, footer, and logo image to be added to the report. This is going to make your report your own. Summary and conclusion. This allows you to define the examination summary and examination conclusion for the report. The examination summary section is placed at the beginning of the report preceding other data included in the case. This section can contain up to 10,000 characters. The examination conclusion is placed at the end of the report following other data included in the case. Again, this can contain up to 10,000 characters. If you would like to add some additional information, click Edit Selection. This is just going to bring up your standard text editor. Um, it allows you to import files, export files. It'll give you um, just some basic options. And once you're done, you just save that and it will be added to your report. Log and supplementary files. This will allow you to define which supplementary files will be attached to the report. Supplementary files are placed in the folder where the report is created and links them to where they are added in the report. If the include case history is checked, this will include the case history of the report. You can also check ex export case history to a file or link. Because case history can be extremely large, it is really recommended that you export it to a se separate file. Once you have completed filling out all of these options, click Finish and that will generate your report. Now I will be showing you the different types of reports that Paraben has to offer for your investigation. The first report is the HTML investigative report. You also can get an example of this if you just click the example button. This report includes any information defined by you, the examiner, with different types of evidence, bookmarks, and supplementary files. Data is displayed in an HTML format without hyperlinks. This is a great report if you need to print something. So as you can see, the examination summary gives you your context on your examination, the case data, your investigator information that you filled out. There's no supplementary files um, attached to this report. The mail storage evidence, this is the string of emails that goes back and forth that you deemed appropriate in your investigation. At the very bottom, the examination conclusion will give you just the conclusion that you type up for your report.
The next report we will look at is the simple text report. Again, all of these did not change, so it's the same process that we went through prior. And we will take a look at an example report. The example report comes up in a text file. It has the exact same information, just in a different format. The next report is the simple RTF report, which is rich text format. Currently I have my RTF associated with Microsoft Word. So Word's going to open up this report for me. The next is CSV text report, comma separated values. So this report for me is going to open up in Microsoft Excel. The HTML evidence summary report. When you click on this, you're going to see that your options are going to change for this report. And this report just gives a basic summary of what was found. It'll give you the examination summary, the investigator information, supplementary files, and the examination conclusion. The HTML email message report. If you click on that one, again, you're going to see that your options on the left-hand pane will change. An example of this, it's just going to show you the email <coughs> mail storage evidences that you either bookmarked or included to your report. The malware scan report, again, your options will change, will open up in a CSV, which is also associated with Excel. Mobile evidence timeline report. Again, your options will change. This report contains timeline representation of mobile evidence data. An example of this, it's pretty interactive. You're allowed to select data. It'll show you the selected data. You can view case information. You can view the summary. And this is great to see text messages going back and forth and call history and it gives you the ability to link timelines together. Mobile evidence PDF report. Again, information changes. This report contains mobile evidence data in a PDF format. So it should show you your investigative report, case information. It's pretty clean. Saving the best for last, mobile data review report. We at Paraben lovingly call this our kick-ass report. The reason why we call this our kick-ass report is because this report will make you look good. This report includes detailed information on all mobile data logically acquired from Android and iOS devices. The information is represented in the HTML format with hyperlinks providing the most convenient view of mobile data cases. Device information, case data summary, installed applications, contacts, phone calls, profiles, examination conclusion. You get the gist of this report. Because this is an example report, it doesn't have the, as much detailed information as I would like to show you, but you get the gist of it. And this will conclude our reporting tutorial. We appreciate you taking your time out of day to watch this video.